So one of the most important parts of being a software developer is the ability to render list. And by the time we get done with this video, we'll be able to take this data that we are getting back from the API and display it in a list format similar to what we have here. And the best part is, is that most of the groundwork has already been laid. We've already got our API fetching data. We're already getting data within our app component. Now we just need to pass this down to our card list where our card list can iterate through it via a map and display each individual object in this array from this JSON that we are getting back and putting them into a nice little neat card where we can then click on it and send it to our portfolio. So let's go ahead, hop in VS Code and let's code this thing up. So we are inside of Visual Studio Code and we have our search result. This is actually already being populated with JSON data. But now what we need to do is we need to take this data and we need to actually pass it down to our list. And in doing so, what we are going to do is just make a prop business as usual. So we go into here and we are going to pass in our search result. So when we pass in the search result, it is going to give us an error setting that this is not assignable to type intrinsic value. And the reason that is doing this is because we actually need to tell the card down below that this is happening. So I'm going to say search results and I'm going to pass in a company search type of array. So it's going to be an array. Then we are going to pass in, as you guess, the search results just like this. But now we need to be able to iterate through these cards. Right now we are hard pasting or copying and pasting each one of these cards in here. And we obviously don't want that. We want our data to be dynamically populated. And in doing that, what we're going to do is we are going to have a, you guess it, conditional render. Although you probably didn't guess it. But what we're going to do is we are going to conditionally render these results and we are going to check the length. And if the length is more than zero, we are then going to render the rest of this data. But if there is no results, what we want to do is we want to display no results. And I'm going to have a conditional render down here where it will say no results. So if we don't find anything, it's going to show no results. Now what we need to do is we need to actually map over these results if they are found. And the way that we're going to do that is of course, we are going to use a map. And within this map, we are going to return an individual card. So our card right now is we have the ability to actually bring in the card. So we can bring in the card, but the bad thing is, is that there are missing attributes. Within our card, we actually need to refactor it so that we can have an ID. So we can have an ID and we can actually pass in anything. And you have to have an ID because React will give you an error stating that you need to have a key and ID. And I'll explain a little bit how this works here in just a second, but Let's go ahead and get this result out symbol in here. I'm going to pass in a key and we also need to bring in UUID. I'm going to go ahead and paste into here npm install UUID and also going to paste in the types for it too. So if you want to be super official and you want to also have the types, I'm also going to go ahead and install the types. The next thing that we need to do is we need to actually bring in UUID to pass into our key. So we're going to go up here. We're going to say V as before as UUID. Let's see here, V4. And we are going to import this from UUID. And if you've done everything correctly and if you've installed the types, if you didn't install the types, you will just have to use UUID without the V4. But if you install the types too, UUID V4 will work. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to pass in a UUID. So we're gonna go ahead, pass that in, go ahead, close it out. And the reason that we have to have a UUID for the key is because the way React renders things. If you don't have a key, if you try to update or you try to do any type of creation for the list, it's not going to work because React uses the keys in order to re-render the list. So if you don't have the key there and you do any type of edit or update, it's not going to work correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead, pass in the result, of course, 
Now what we need to do is we need to go to our card and we need to tell the card what type of data that we are passing down to it. So with the card, we are going to remake our props. We are going to pass in an ID of string so that we have an ID so that React doesn't yell at us. Also, we're going to pass in a search result. So if we pass in a search result, we can pass in a company search that is not an array. So, pre so previously we had to pass in an actual array, but now we're just passing in an individual company because it is iterating through it. So instead of having all of these up here, we're just going to have our ID, we're going to have our search result, and that's really all that we need in order to get this thing going. I'm actually gonna clear out this. I'm going to just give it an alt of, let's say company logo so that we don't get uh, errors. Now I'm gonna go down here and instead of having the company name, I'm gonna say search result. And you could actually make these whatever you want them to be. You could say uh, the name or you could add the ticker, but I'm going to have it to where it's the, just the name with the ticker. So I'm gonna say search result. I'm gonna give this symbol. Go ahead, get this out of the way. Uh, we don't actually have a price with the search data. So I'm just gonna say search result dot uh, currency. I think this will look good. Then we can go down here just to kind of get the data on the page. So we can go back and actually do the CSS later. I'm going to say exchange short name and I'll put a hyphen here and I'll say search result dot the actual stock exchange just like this. So if we go back here, we're getting an error here and what we, oh, I forgot to add an array here. Always make sure that you're initializing with an array with the search results or else you're going to get undefined errors. And that looks pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go run NPM start and let's see if we are getting the correct data back that we want. So go ahead, go back, make sure that it loads. I'm gonna go ahead, type in Apple, hopefully. And as you can see, our company logo looks a little crazy, but we will go back and change that after we get done with the portfolio and we will redo the CSS. But right now we're just getting things working. Anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.